Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Ohio Badlands. Today, me and Dylan, we're going down to Southern Ohio. We just got permission to hunt uh, 116 acres down there. So today's goal is we're gonna go down there, check on the property, walk probably the entire property, and then uh, get out a couple cameras we're gonna set up one little bait pile just so we can hopefully get some inventory of some bucks and see what we have going on down there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna film virtually everything. And uh, yeah, Dylan should be here around seven o'clock. It's currently 6.40, so it's gonna sit and wait for him to arrive. See you guys then. All right, so while we wait for Dylan to get here, I think maybe I should go over a little bit of stuff that I am bringing. So, first of all, for our food, got the big tine. Now, never really actually baited before. I mean, I really couldn't tell you the last time I actually like sat over like a bait pile ever in my life. Uh, it's mainly trails and food plots is usually what I sit over. So the odds of us actually bringing down bait every time we go to Southern Ohio, probably slim. So there's that. And then we also got, okay. cell cams. I think we're bringing four cell cams. Um, these are the Moultries. They're fantastic, by the way. I love these, I love these cell cameras. They're, they're great. The picture quality is amazing. You can find service quickly with those things. They set up really easily all around. If you are looking to get a new cell cam, I would recommend getting Moultries. It's, they, they take the hassle out of everything. They're fantastic. Absolutely amazing. So let's see. It is... 6.55. Don't's got five minutes before I call him. Tell him that he's late. And, uh, yeah. Probably just play around with the pup a little bit. Right, buddy? Baxter. Hey. Baxter. Yep. He's looking for birds. All right. He thinks, and he also thinks that we're that I'm, he's going with us, but unfortunately, he will not be attending us. No one gets here. Uh, I'll uh, I'll turn the camera back on. So stay tuned. And himself has arrived. Oh, time is 7 to 1. He's late. We don't give him a hard time for being one minute late. You're late. A minute late. My fault. My fault. <laughs> Alrighty, so he's arrived. We're going to get everything packed up. And uh, we'll see you guys on the road. Let's do it. Large Coke. And I'll be on. And I'm going to give you a sausage McGriddle. Egg sausage cheese McGriddle. Sausage chicken cheese McGriddle. I have a large water, a large milk, a sausage muffin, a sausage and cheese McGriddle, and that's that. Yep. Getting fueled.
we have arrived. Oh, that was a three hour drive. That was a long drive. But uh, as soon as we pulled in, I mean, it's, it's a straight cliff. I mean, this, if I can go into Onyx, I will for you guys, but right now I have absolutely no service and I'll turn on the 3D version for you guys and I'll show you guys that. I mean, this whole property is doing this. So it's about, so it's 116 acres. There are four different fields on this property. Oh, I'm excited. Dylan? Oh, very excited. Only one problem. We gotta walk all the way to the field because um, now There's that a, our uh, roadway is gonna be blocked off. So, could have a little bit of a hike. But it's gonna be worth it in the end, eh? It's alright. So now, you know, I gotta carry a 40 pound bag of, oh, God. <laughs> of up this hill. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we're gonna put the camera down for just a second and get our, shit get our get our stuff all together and uh i'll pick up the camera once we get back up to the cell and we should have probably like a chest mount for oh. right. for a wide angle lens. You know? yeah. It looks like it's like facing down, but it's literally getting the entire car. <laughs> That's so Nice and tight around the ankles. So you did put Onyx and offline mode? Yeah. Where I have a saved map and the offline thing. How do you get there? Um, um, oh, offline. You have an offline. That bag is full of cameras. Do you have the SD card for the one? Yeah, it's in there.
Oh, we just made it. That was a hike. Hike and a half, I will say. I'm already sweating my ass off. So we have about three total fields that are on this property and a bunch of ridges, a lot of ridges. I mean, this, this property is just, it's absolutely gorgeous, but oh my gosh, man, these hills will kill you. <sighs> where you want to start, Don? Because I have no idea where you want, where, where, where is it that you want to start? Well, I guess we can go through this opening and look around this field and try yeah, to find a ridge over here. And we can start down at, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a field right back there. Let's start down there. I think that field has got like the highest point on this property. Probably. So, we're gonna get to walking. Um, I don't know where we're gonna put the bait yet. I might just leave that bait right there for right now. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Spot. Yeah. Be I would say, maybe we can put that bait up there on that field up there. Yeah, yeah. And that might be on our way out then maybe. Yeah. We'll so, out. we're gonna get walking. Bring you guys along. So, stay tuned. What do you think, Don? Well, <clears throat> looks like good property. I mean, just from taking a quick gander around along these ridge tops right here, the deer like to travel along right near the drop off of these cliffs and ridges. So they're probably staying probably like 30 to 40 yards away from this ridge, like drop off points, and kind of traveling along the sides of them. And then every so often you'll see a trail going up these up the hills a little bit more and. For the most point, the ones going uphill are leading up to the fields around here, so that's where the pretty sure where they're going to feed for the evenings and that, but I think right now it's a pretty solid property. It's just finding where to go, putting a trail camera, hoping the trail camera works and just putting the pieces of the puzzle together slowly but surely. Just the goal. Yeah, so we need to get a couple of these cameras set up. I mean there's one dude, he's hunting the other side of this ridge over here. And like a little, like right before it's like really steep drop off. So we're thinking we might, if you want, I don't know what you have planned, but I would want to put a camera right around this trail, kind of. Yeah, that would be a good idea, because right now we're at this ridge point. If we, yeah. just kind of going off with some Instagram videos and that. <clears throat> It seems like the deer is kind of like to travel up these the ridge tops, but once they start the incline, uh, I don't know how to exactly describe it, but they're staying close to the top, but not all the way up to the top of these ridges. So it's just trying to find an area near the tops, but not too far up. And it seems like that's where they're most of their travel is so far, at least in this spot, at least. But it's more walking around, but I think putting a camera over here would best definitely be beneficial for us, for sure. Well, for sure, because there is, this trail runs this way, like this, along this way, and then it comes, like, right around <clears> here, <throat> like, intersects, and it comes up and over that ridge, so. Now, we need a tree. <laughs> need to find a tree to put this camera on, and then, uh, that would be one camera, and then we have three more after we put this one up. Do you have the mule tree? I mean the muddy one? Oh yeah, the muddy one. So yeah, four more cameras. 
my bad. So we'll we'll find a little spot for this cell cam, and then uh, get back hey, to get back to walking. So stay tuned, guys. All right. So this is what I've been talking about working these bridge points. So the deer are gonna be traveling kind of around here along these bridge points and working their way up. And the doe beddings would probably be around this area. So maybe more across, maybe on this side of the property, I think there might be more bedding opportunity for the doe. But just kind of working these points right around here would be like a good spot to put cameras and trails. So just keep an eye out for any kind of points like these, these ridges that work up to the top and just kind of find trails near those spots because those are going to be your killer spots to find the deer movement. We're not going to put a camera here just because there is another stand. Right, hold on, let me get to it. So, right down this like road almost, there's another stand. I don't know if you can see it, right there. So we're going to follow this road back up cross over this ridge and we're gonna go on the other side of that ridge. So we're hoping there's no stands over there because we don't wanna you know we don't wanna interrupt them on their hunts. So we're gonna try to stay as far away from them as possible. So uh yeah we're gonna mean got another hike and a half across this ridge. I mean if you look down I mean it's just It's a steep drop off, so we're gonna hug this ridge and uh, get to the other side and see how it's looking over there. That's where we so we just started over there and we just came across right over here and right down here there's a nice trail you might be able to see it runs right down there it goes right down that little ridge and my guess is it's going to go like that and it's going to come up back through all the way over there into that other ridge so what it seems like they're doing you know, what these deer are mainly doing is they're hugging the top of this ridge line and there's i mean i'm not seeing any trails really going down into the ridge so they're really staying on top of these ridges and I mean I think we have some acorn trees around here so we actually are going to put the camera over here and then we're going to move down and go across this ridge up there and then go we'll see what's going on on the other side. So yeah let's get this uh, let's get this camera set up. Camera one set up. So again, if you look, you can see it on camera really well. This trail comes like this, comes down, and then it just rides the top of this ridge and then it splits right there. So it goes that way, and then it goes that way. I think we have a good, I think we got a good spot here for this first camera. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually follow this trail I'm gonna follow it up this other ridge and see what's going on over there. And there's like, up top here, there's a bunch of like, maybe you can see them, there's a bunch of pine trees all the way up there. And they look like they were planted there a while ago because they're all in rows. So we're gonna follow this trail around this ridge, go down into that valley, and then kind of come back up through those pine trees. So just waiting for a picture to appear from the Moultrie app it says that it says it's all good so let's see all right good to go Sweet. all right so we're gonna follow this trail yet again like I said and uh, I'll pick the camera back up when we, uh, if we find something interesting
Okay, so we just cross all of these ridges and in doing so in the field there there was two doe out there. I couldn't get a couldn't get a video on for you guys, I'm sorry about that, but we got to this other side of this ridge and hey look, this is great. Alright. So sorry about that, but uh yeah there's a nice scrape right here and a nice rub right on the side of the tree. So yeah let's maybe we should uh, get a camera set up over here. Here you guys go. Scrape. Rub. Right on there. Focus. Anyways. Yeah. I think we should uh, probably get a camera set up in here. Yeah. I'm beat. I'm already beat, and we've been here for like an hour and 40 minutes. So, let's take a look at that rub. Oh, there's even a trail right here. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, there's that little rub. There's a trail. It goes all the way down that way. And then it comes up all the way through over here. Yeah, we should probably get a camera up here. Okay. And also there's like, I've already seen like, there's a trail there, there, there. They go up into the field. This, I mean, I, I don't even know where to hang any cameras. Everywhere you go, there's a trail on this property. Every inch of this place is just covered. All right, so. What are you thinking for a camera, Dylan? <laughs> Good question, eh? Good question. Could put it up there more, or maybe we can throw it on one of these trees up here. But I low key want it on the scrape, but it's not like a huge scrape, but looks like it was used recently. We should have brought some of the scrape stuff. I didn't even think about that. Wow. We're gonna find a little location for this camera and we'll show you guys once we get it hung up. So, stay tuned. All right, so Dylan actually just found a way better trail to put this camera on. I have, tell you what, this place will kill you. <laughs> a lot of hills. Dylan at down this way. Dylan. Dylan. Where the fuck did he go? This dude. All the way up there. Anyways, he's coming back. All right, this is the trail we're talking about here. Hold on, I gotta get down here a little bit farther. I mean, holy, you know what? That's nuts. I mean, it comes right up here, down, it's right up on there. So I think we're gonna put a camera right here in this little bottom area. That's not that's a heavy use trail right there. So let's get to it, huh? Okay, so unfortunately we are not gonna be able to get a camera down there because there's no service. So I can't even open the app to get the camera connected to the app. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go back up to where we saw that scrape and we're gonna put a camera by that scrape and uh, probably off the scrape, but we're gonna keep it right on the trail. So we'll take you guys up. Yeah. All right. 
We're back. Scrape. Rub. Trail. Hold on. Do I even have service over here? That's the other question. No. <sighs> Please? No. Oh. Never mind. We should have thought this through. Yeah. The fucking hard cams. Yeah, we should have bought we should have brought some actual cameras. Not cell cams. Well there's one set up right now. I mean, you just gotta find the spot that actually has service. Alright, well, we're gonna continue walking and hopefully we can find somewhere with a little bit more service, so you guys stay tuned. Okay, so we just got this little corner of this field here where all these pine trees are planted. You can't see. I mean, they're straight rows. So, the field it kind of goes, oh my gosh. It's like a top and then it comes down. There's a little patch of trees right there and you have like a little almost like a little secluded area right here and then of that you have a whole ridge that runs down here and then this this road so we're gonna walk this road Dylan's looking for trails right now um, I'm just gonna take this road pretty far down and uh, yeah let's uh we'll see what uh, what's going on down here see if we can see any good trails coming out and hopefully get another our next camera setup. So we just got that camera set up right down here, right in this little bottom. That's the road. It leads all the way down through there. If you come and look over here, old rub, old rub. And there's even more in that pile of trees. There are a lot of old rubs down in this little this little pine trees so we think this is gonna be an absolute killer little spot in here so we just got to figure out where we'd want to put up a tree stand when we come down here and hunt so yeah it's a solid spot I mean on the other side of here I mean right here you have your pine that have been planted here and uh, past these pines is the property line and that other side of the property is just a thicket, pretty thick thicket. So, I mean, you got three different types of habitat and 
Franklin conjunctioning area, so that's going to be a great corridor for them to travel. I mean, we could just see from here, there's a couple tracks just walking through here, and they're obviously using these scrapes right here, so this could be a nice core area for some buck, but just the fact that there's three different points of habitat, and especially with this logging road in between the thicket over there, the deer will just travel right down that road, so hopefully this leads up to a nice buck. It's marking his territory, really. I mean, especially with those rubs over there. I mean, he's rubbing the crap out of those trees, so looks like he's trying to mark his area pretty good. Let's go next camera location so this is kind of the woods line between two fields so there's neighbors and then here's uh, our field so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it right on this trail that I just showed you it is basically a crossing right Yeah, they're just going in between the two fuels right here. So we're going to be able to see what the hell is coming through here. So let's get this camera set up and uh, keep moving on to the next. First one that we have a great signal. All right, guys. So we just got to the top. We're not even to the top yet, but we just got to the last field of our trip here um it was one treacherous of a walk up we had to walk down all the way from the house to the very bottom and then pretty much all the way back up the same distance just to get to this other field so that was a little bit of a painful walk especially for one eye he had a 40 pound bag of corn on his back so he was feeling the burn feeling the burn but right now we're just going to be walking across this field more of the field edge and kind of see what's along this wood line. Take a peek over here. So just kind of walking this seeing what we can find. Thinking the main thing is probably up here but the important thing is we have to find somewhere with service on the way up here. So I think our last two cameras will go up a in the spot because I think we'll be pretty much drained after that so it's a fine spot for these cameras good great signal huh that's surprising uh
Alrighty. So, just got the last camera set up. Right here, so this is like a road that goes all the way back down to the house and comes up, comes into this field. And there are acorns littered all the way out through here and then there's a couple of deer trails that come out this way and over here and I'm gonna guess over there. So, that's the last camera for the day and I think that's it for us. We are absolutely exhausted so we're gonna get back on the road and head home so. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, there was a lot going on today. Uh, <laughs> right, Dylan? Sure was a lot going on today. A lot of work. A lot of work and a lot of walking, but up. <laughs> a lot of walking up. So we're going to end the video here. Uh, hit the road. Probably go grab some food. Starving. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, next time you guys see us in a video is probably going to be in a stand so stay tuned for that and uh please like subscribe comment go follow us on our other social media i'll put that in the description so thank you guys for watching and 